Are you ready to take control of your financial future but don't know where to start? Investing can seem overwhelming, especially if you're a beginner. But don't worry, you're in the right place. In this video, we're breaking down the basics of investing, giving you simple and actionable tips to help you grow your wealth over time. Whether you're looking to build your savings, plan for retirement, or just learn how to make your money work for you, this guide is your perfect starting point. Let's dive in. So, you're thinking about getting into investing. That's great. The first thing to know is that investing isn't just for people with a lot of money or financial experts. Anyone can start, even with just a little bit of cash. Let's start by clearing up a common misconception. Investing is not the same as saving. Saving is putting your money aside in a safe place, like a savings account, where it just sits. But investing, that's putting your money to work, trying to grow it over time. The idea is that your money could grow faster through investing than just sitting in a bank account. But, of course, with more reward comes more risk. Speaking of risk, it's one of the most important things to understand when you start investing. All investments have some level of risk. This means there's a chance you could lose some or even all of the money you put in. But don't worry, you don't have to bet it all on one stock. In fact, that's the opposite of what you should do. Instead, spreading your investments across different assets is the way to go. This is what's called diversification. It's like not putting all your eggs in one basket. There are different ways you can invest. One of the most popular is through the stock market. When you buy a stock, you're buying a small piece of a company. If the company does well, the value of your stock may go up. If it doesn't, the value may go down. But you don't have to pick individual stocks if that seems too overwhelming. There are funds, like index funds or ETFs, that allow you to invest in a whole bunch of stocks at once. It's like buying a little piece of a big pie, rather than trying to pick which slices are the best. Then, there are bonds. Bonds are like loans you give to a company or government, and in return, they agree to pay you back with interest. They're generally considered safer than stocks, but the trade-off is that they typically offer lower returns. So, bonds can be a good way to balance out the riskier investments in your portfolio. Another option is real estate. You can invest in property, but that requires a lot of money up front and can be quite complex. An easier way for beginners is through REITs, or real estate investment trusts. These are companies that own or finance income producing real estate. When you invest in a REIT, it's like you're buying a small share of a portfolio of properties, which might include shopping malls, apartment buildings, or office spaces. It's a way to invest in real estate without actually having to buy property. Before diving in, it's crucial to figure out your goals. Why are you investing? Maybe it's for retirement, a down payment on a house, or just to grow your wealth over time. Your goals will influence your strategy. If you're investing for something far in the future, like retirement, you might be able to take on more risk because you have time to recover from any dips in the market. But if you need the money in a few years, you might want to be more conservative. One thing to remember is to start with what you can afford to lose. Don't invest money you need for bills or emergencies. It's smart to have an emergency fund, separate from your investments, with enough money to cover three to six months of living expenses. That way, if something unexpected happens, you're not forced to sell your investments at a bad time. Let's not forget about fees. They might seem small, but they can add up over time and eat into your returns. When you're choosing where and how to invest, be mindful of the fees involved. Whether it's the fee for buying or selling stocks, or the management fee on a mutual fund or ETF, it's important to know what you're paying for. And finally, patience is key. Investing is not about getting rich quick. It's about building wealth over time. The market will go up and down, but historically, it has gone up over the long term. The key is to stay calm, stick to your plan, and avoid making rash decisions based on short-term market movements. By starting small, learning as you go, and being patient, you can set yourself up for financial success in the future. So, why not take that first step? Your future self will thank you. Investing doesn't have to be complicated. 
By starting with these simple steps, you can set yourself on a path to financial success. Remember, the key is to start early, stay consistent, and always keep learning. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tips on how to make smart financial decisions. And as always, if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and happy investing!